Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in my Natural November series, I'll be showing you guys how I do my wash and goes on my 4C hair. So first of all, I'm going to be doing this on freshly washed hair. So boom, there we go. And y'all see the shirt? Come on. Big wrapping. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I actually washed and detangled my hair and sectioned my hair in the shower. Sectioning off my hair made this process 10 times easier. So as I conditioned my hair, I just detangled. First and foremost, even though my hair is freshly washed, I am still going in with my spray bottle to make sure my hair is very, very wet because the look works best when your hair is really, really wet. Now I'm just going to be going in with some leave-in conditioner. I honestly don't think this step is necessary, but i just seen it in some other girls' video and I've just been doing it ever since I started. And why some of that decides to go in my mouth but anyways i'm about to go in with my super moisturizing daily lotion by ors yo y'all better come here and get one of these because baby let me tell y'all this works miracles for my hair so i definitely recommend you try it out especially if you have 4c hair some of the benefits of this product are the rice water and electrolytes that it has infused inside of it and you know rice water definitely stimulates growth because it has a lot of protein in it so that's definitely something that you should definitely keep in mind when you buy this but right now i'm just going in and making sure i lather all of the product inside my hair when i tell y'all my curls be popping with this yeah next i'm just detangling my hair and honestly you could detangle after you put in all the products so after i detangled my hair i added some gel i recommend you detangle after you add the gel that's what i should have did but i'm just used to doing it like that i'm just used to doing it like this but i do recommend that you detangle after you put all the products in because it makes more sense and i'm using a denman brush for this process because it definitely makes your curls pop more um that brush is really good when you detangle your hair especially when it's wet and another tip when detangling your hair start from the ends and make your way up And for my gel, I'm going to be using the Extreme Pro Expert. Before I started using the Extreme Wet Line, I was also using the Green Eco Styling Gel, the regular green olive olive oil one or aloe vera, whatever it is. That was my first time using the Extreme Wet Line, but it worked really well. And please excuse the fact that the camera is not in focus. I did not even realize until I looked up, but for the most part, you guys could see me lathering the gel and adding gel is really the cherry on top for your wash and go that's what really activates your curl your styling cream also does that but the gel just puts it on top hair is really where detangling is crucial compared to when i did it before so as you're detangling it especially with a denman brush that's when you see your curls start to pull apart and it really ties the wash and go together And now I'm just going to finger coil my hair because even though your curls are there, you know, sometimes you got to do a little bit of finger coiling to really get it where you want it to be. So I just do a little bit of that throughout my entire head. And finally, after a whole five minutes, I realized the camera was not even in focus. But as you guys could see, curls is popping. Curls is very much there. Even though the back of my head is really dead, like, y'all, I have mad heat damage. And it's really pissing me off. Like, I need to let go of that shit before the year ends. But <laughs> just know the curls is very much there. It's popping. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. They look so good. But this is definitely the best wash and go that I've ever done, bro. All right, I dragged it. I don't even have that much heat damage. It's really just a little bit. See how I just exaggerated it? But not too much, though. Not too fucking much. Don't even look too close. Now that we're finally done with the first section, I'm going to be repeating the very same process, but the only thing that I'm changing is my styling cream. Right now, I'm using the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. Y'all, when I first learned about this, I thought this was the best thing ever for my wash and goes, but you're going to see the difference between the ORS and the Shea Moisture, and you're going to be the judge of that. It might look like I'm pulling a lot of my hair, but when I'm done detangling my entire head, I'm going to show you guys the brush and you'll see how much hair actually fell out. 
If y'all look real closely, I have more heat damage on that side of my hair than the other side. Yeah, it's real bad on that side, and it just pisses me off, y'all. Yeah, let me know what I should do because I really the back of my hair is already short. It's always been shorter than the front. And I have braids in right now, and I really don't even want to cut them because the braids is already they already look short, and I don't even want to make them look shorter. But I just have to let go of these split ends, and it's really bad. And it's in the front too. It's like the longest part of my hair where it's like heat damage from the last silk press that I did, bro, like last year. It's really bad. I'm still suffering from it, but we'll figure it out. now we're finally done with the back and tell me if you guys see the difference between the two sides so on the left side is the shea moisture and the right is the ors i definitely did see a difference the right side my curls were more defined compared to the left but let me know what you guys think So now that I'm done for the most part, I'm just going to go in and finger curl some areas that I feel like is not as defined as I want it to be. And yeah, I think this wash and go came out really, really good. Something that I usually do is kind of try to get the top as flat as I can. But I'm going to stop doing that because I feel like it don't really give that much volume. And a final step that's optional is picking out your wash and go. Me personally, I don't do this. This is the final wet look, really cute, but I'll be showing you guys what it looks like when it's completely dried. And as you guys can see, this is the brush when I'm done detangling. It's not that much hair that was in there, and yeah, that is a charm. But this is the final product for the most part. Really cute. Part, look at me, so cute. Yeah. Uh huh. Did I dance? This is what my hair looks like when it's completely dry. I went out and I'm back home. And I'm gonna show you guys like how I kind of maintain this wash and go because on YouTube it's not that many videos about how to maintain a wash and go but it's really not that much that could help me with my type hair and my length hair so I kind of have to just learn for myself I guess but I did see like a few things like I don't know like I'll just put a satin scarf over it I guess I really don't know, but I have to clean up my room because it's, it's a mess, y'all. Because I was picking out my outfit and my mom changed her curtains. I don't know. This curtain is like a really cool pattern. So for the maintenance part of this hairstyle, I just put a satin scarf over my head and I pinned the front down with some bobby pins. But this was the next morning as I'm taking it down because I had class. Surprisingly, my hair was still in really good condition compared to before. It would just be a mess. But I'm just going to go in with a pick and actually pick it on the second day instead of the first day to really get some volume and just get my fro going. So the material satin is actually really good for the natural hair. That's what I've heard. I haven't done my research on it, but I did put a satin scarf over my head and it maintained my curls and that's why a lot of people in the natural hair community sleep with satin pillowcases to keep like their- I don't know. I don't know what it does. You gotta do the research. I'm gonna do mine too. But 
It worked. It worked. It did. After five minutes of picking and finally getting the volume that I wanted, this is the final product. Y'all, it came out so good. I felt really good. It looks so cute. Y'all, the way that I am impressed with this wash and go, like, I am mind blown. This is the first time that my wash and go actually lasted. And I'm gonna be doing this pretty often because before I would do it, but then I would only keep it on for one day because I'll go to sleep and then it's totally messed up when I wake up. But, like, I love it. I look good. I feel good. Even though the left side is actually frizzy compared to the right side. See that? Like, the curl pattern is there. But, like, it looks so freaking good.